Hi, my name is Leah Barron, and I'm one of the founding partners at Brown and Barron. And I'm Brian Brown, the other founding partner at Brown and Barron, a law firm that specializes in nursing home abuse and neglect cases. And today we're going to talk to you about something that happens all too often in nursing homes, and that's falls by residents. That's right. So falls are one of the leading causes of injury-related deaths in older Americans, and it's a particularly <clears throat> big problem throughout nursing homes. So on average, nursing home residents in the United States have 2.6 falls per year. And of those, more than 2,000 falls in nursing homes every year are fatal. And the way that that happens is that sometimes these falls are so severe and they can cause a person to break a major bone like a hip and that can ultimately live to the, lead to their decline. Also, people can fall and hit their head and that can cause a brain bleed or other such things that can ultimately lead to their passing. So while falls are common in older adults, it's the nursing home's responsibility to keep residents safe. And it's particularly their responsibility to ensure that if a person does fall, that it is a fall that's not so severe and is not causing permanent life-threatening injuries. And there's a number of ways that nursing homes can do this, but it all starts with prevention and it all starts with assessment. So from day one, when a resident enters a nursing home facility, that facility must assess their risk of falling. And once they come up with that assessment, they must put into place a care plan that accounts for the resident's risk of falling. And if the risk is high, there are a number of steps the nursing home can take in order to prevent the resident from falling or to prevent any falls from becoming or leading to severe injuries. So there's a whole host of um, precautions that the nursing home can implement. Some of them are very simple and they involve keeping the environment of the nursing home safe. So making sure that there's good lighting, that there's no obstacles in the way that people can trip over, to ensure that furniture is stable, things like that. But also with regard to each individual resident, they must do things like providing non-skid tape on slip, what would be slippery floors, giving people grip socks, lowering beds sometimes, there are gate belts that they can provide. But there's also a lot of things that involve the care that the staff give. So the staff can do regular check-ins with the resident and oftentimes that's to see whether or not the resident needs to move about so that they can assist them especially with regard to toileting. They can have a toileting plan and they can ensure that people are regularly, regularly there to check on the resident to see if they need to use the restroom so that they can have assistance with that and they're not dangerously moving to the restroom themselves. So again, there's a number of things that nursing homes can do to prevent severe falls, but it all begins with assessing the risk of injury at the time of admission, coming up with a care plan that implements some of these precautions and then over time, modifying the care plan as may be needed in order to ensure that the resident has the fall protections that they need. So thank you very much for watching this video. And please feel free to reach out to us by giving us a call, checking our website, and best of all, checking out our YouTube channel and liking and subscribing. Thanks again.